my hands. All right, so it's the end of the week around here and I am calling it Mexican Fiesta night. It's Friday night. We are trying to finish up a few things that we've um, started this week. You know how it is, just trying to, to get it all together. When you work from home, business and personal just seem to combine sometimes. So as I was going to be making some guacamole, and I will tell you it's my world famous homemade guacamole, but I thought that I would talk a little bit about video and social media and how they really combine. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna make the guacamole as I'm talking, because I tend to talk with my hands. So we've been doing vi videos for 15 years, helping small to medium sized businesses grow their social media, websites, uh, YouTube channels, all of that into something more through video. You started seeing the stats several years ago about video is becoming increasingly more popular on social media. You know how it is, but you're scrolling through and you're just kind of looking, especially at night when you're tired. And if something's a video or has movement, it catches your eye more. And that kind of caught my eye also in that those are the kind of things that we can provide to our clients. Now we have clients that we do brand videos for. And then that way when the customer, potential customer is researching them, they're able to get to know the company before they even pick up the phone or email them. So brand videos have their place and we do a lot of those. But I don't wanna discount that just small social media videos that you can even do yourself have a place. According to HubSpot, videos are twice as more memorable than static pictures, images, anything like that. So if that's the case, then as a small business, you should be trying to do something to catch people's eyes and that's where video comes in. I did want to go over a couple of items that can help you create fast and easy video content for your social media. I love Canva for photos. They do some um, animation, which is nice, but Canva is the easiest way to make a quick little ad. All I did here, we have garlic, minced garlic, and then some minced cilantro. Um, we don't always get the fancy real cilantro for our guacamole, so this is pretty exciting stuff right here. So, I have two avocados. If they're too squishy, they're bad. If they're too hard, they're not ready. This is a beautiful avocado, look at that, that's beautiful. But usually I always buy more avocado than I need in case, like just one more, in case one of the avocados is not ready or is bad and then I don't cry because that's important and I will cry over an avocado. I did not cry over the avocado hand that happened, what was that, three years ago, two years ago, where I took the pit out incorrectly and ended up stabbing my hand. It was not the best day for me. But as you'll see now, I don't even put the avocado in my hand to get the pit out. I could wrap it with a towel and then put it in there. That's what the professionals do. <laughs> I'm staying the heck away from this. So you stab, you take the pit, and then slightly turn it and it pops right out. And then Angela doesn't have to get, what was it, 20 stitches? It was really bad. It was really, really bad. All right, so this is a beautiful avocado. I'm gonna take out the little stem part. It just came right out. Pioneer woman I am not. Beautiful. Another great platform that you can use for creating quick and easy videos is a program called Ripple, and I believe it's R-I-P-L. And Ripple has a free version, it has a paid version. I've used the free version. We've already established that I'm pretty cheap. So I haven't tried the paid version yet, but I was able to create something pretty quickly in Ripple. It's kind of like a slideshow with text on top, if that helps you to understand. So say you have an event that you did and you took a lot of pictures. Ripple might be a really great tool to be able to kind of show off the fun that everybody had and what you guys were kind of doing and then maybe you put a couple titles on it. All right, so now I'm just 
mashing the avocado with the fork. I added a little bit of lime. How much you mash the avocado really depends on how chunky you like your guacamole. Um, I usually mash it pretty good, and honestly, by the time I stir it a good bit, it kind of gets a little smooth. So now we're gonna put some cilantro, fresh cilantro. I am all about the method of you make it and then you test it over and over and over again. The secret ingredient, here we go people, I have two secret ingredients for you. These, these two ingredients I rarely find at a restaurant when, it's, when that guacamole doesn't meet my standard. The secret ingredient is the chopped garlic because it needs to have some flavor. It's got to have some flavor. Now, I'm gonna just use my finger right here. Okay, the other secret ingredient, salt. My word. I guess maybe I'm not a purist on the avocados, but I think they need salt. So we'll just sprinkle some of that on there. Ah, pepper's not really a secret ingredient. But why wouldn't you use it? Now, John, since the kid has already eaten, and this is just for you and I, for our fajitas, do you want me to put fresh jalapeno in it? Okay. So Ripple's a really great one um, in addition to Canva that you can use. It's very, very user-friendly and um, you can create some pretty great stuff pretty quickly. So I just finely diced some jalapeno and I'm going to put it in with the guacamole. And now magic is happening. So between Canva and Ripple, I think you can do a lot to kind of jazz up your social media pages. I use Canva a lot for a review that was done on our Facebook page or um, some other page that you can copy and paste the text that somebody wrote as a review and you can make a graphic out of it and kind of reuse that content. So we're getting all this guacamole mixed together. It looks delicious. It's almost time for the taste test here. but. If you want to start out with Canva and Ripple, get you some videos up on your social media pages and then kind of start there. Then when you're ready, then you can contact people like us and we can do the brand video. Start with what you can do and then once you get to a point where you can call in the, the pros really and we'll be happy to help you with that. As we have learned in our business, and it's actually been a really difficult lesson. Um, now is better than perfect. I think we illustrate that every time we put up one of these episodes that now is better than perfect because there, nothing is gonna be perfect. <laughs> but getting your content out there for potential customers to see is important. That's the main thing. So I would like to taste this now. Can I go ahead and taste this? Are we? Have I wrapped everything up for everybody? Hopefully it makes sense. Okay. Well, that's good. I think it needs a little tiny bit more salt. Okay. Okay. That's good. Mm, I like the jalapeno. We don't normally get that with the kid either. All right, you gonna try some? So, ta-da, world's famous guacamole right here. Let me know if you'd like the recipe and I'll send it to you. Um, as you can see, it's very complicated. <laughs> and I know all the measurements exactly. 